Back in the 90s and early 2000s, the Groove Alliance made a bunch of games for the 3D Groove Engine. Many of them existed to promote franchises such as SpongeBob SquarePants and other Nickelodeon shows, but many of the games were lost when the 3D Groove website went down. They were recovered thanks to the work of people online and even someone who worked on some of them. So today I'd like to take a look at the games they made for the Pringles brand of chips. Why Pringles, you ask? Well, I don't know. Why not? Pringles used to have games on their website to add entertainment value to your $2 potato chip meal. One of these games was called Super Spud Boxing. It's where you get to fight a bunch of potato-themed opponents in a boxing match. Let's check it out. First off, just listen to the sound effects on the menu screen. <laughs> Ain't that the most pleasant thing you ever heard? So according to the instructions, we're about to play one heck of a button mashing simulator. Let's get into it. Come on, potato. Let's mash. Oh my god, it talks. As a kid, I always found Mr. P oddly intimidating. His energy just seems sinister. It's like he's slowly plotting your demise by poisoning you with carbohydrates. Also, apparently they named him Julius in 2013. Maybe he's so intimidating because he was once a Roman dictator. Get it? Tater? I'll see myself out. O'Brien. Yeah, your opponents all have potato-themed names. As I guessed, it's a potato masher. I mean a button masher. You just keep slamming your keyboard till your opponent falls down. Fight like my grandma! I love how the more you punch them, the more beat up they get. This is oddly brutal for a children's game. At least, I think it's a children's game. Everybody knows adults aren't allowed to eat Pringles. Our poor declining bodies can't handle the amount of sodium. Frenchy Fry and Curly O'Brien are super easy, just mash your keyboard till it breaks, but Idaho is unexpectedly hard. It's all about timing your blocks, but it's hard to because the animation makes it difficult to tell when your opponent is punching you or not. They probably should have cleaned it up a little more. The audience members look like they belong in a Saturday morning cartoon in the 90s that we'd all grow up and forget about. At the end, the game tells you to challenge your friends to beat your score. Now challenge your friends to beat your score! No thanks. So this is the kind of game you play in the early 2000s when you don't have any video games, but you have internet access and get all your gaming enjoyment from Flash games online. Doesn't sound like anyone we know, right? Not really something to write home about, but I can see this being a decent time killer while you're looking up information on your fourth or fifth favorite brand of chips. But the second 3D Groove Pringles game is a little more interesting. Initially lost when the website went down, Pringles Pony Express was sought out by many internet users over the years. They were able to find it on the glorious Wayback Machine, but only the logo would show up when you tried to run it. Legend says this is because the game revealed Julius Peacer's one true weakness and he did everything in his Pringly power to keep it from getting out. Unfortunately, his plot was foiled when the 3D Groove games were recovered. The game was meant to advertise the Pringles flavor Sweet Mesquite, which was a unique barbecue flavor. At least I assume it was unique, I've never had it myself. You play as Julius Peacer on a horse, and you have to deliver Sweet Mesquite Pringles chips across a treacherous landscape. The controls really put the wild in Wild West. It's hard to get a handle on things when you first start it. You can collect coins, bags of oats, and even Sweet Mesquite Pringles to give yourself a higher score. 3D Groove games were usually more score-focused than story-driven. Even the ones with plots never really had endings. Rocks can fall out of the sky and crush you, you can jump over these little ramps, or at least try to, and you have to jump these chasms that are nearly impossible to get right. What in tarnation? What in... What in tarnation? Hard, hard, little horsey. You can also hit the cacti for this hilarious line. That's frickin'. Ride hard, little horsey. Tarnation. You're being timed, so you can collect power-ups to give yourself more time, but even at my worst, I never ran the timer out. Chasms aside, it ain't that challenging. It's only three levels, then the game is finished. That's that, nothing to it. Sweet mistake! Again, a simple time killer, but I still expected it to be longer. 
The announcer is funny to listen to, but 3D Groove games often have this habit of feeling terribly unfinished. For example, SpongeBob Saves the Krusty Krab looked even worse than this one does, and the controls were just as bad. And don't get me started on the pinball one. This game likely needed more time and love put into it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was rushed to completion. As we all know, the entire world was just waiting with bated breath for the next 3D Groove Pringles game. Well, I think we learned a valuable lesson here. You play a game about chips, you get a game about chips. Maybe the whole idea was to get you to crave Pringles by playing these games. If that's the case, it sure as heck worked. I'll be right back. Welcome to the Parchin' Mart. Hmm... What in our nation? Come on, potato, let's match. Well, I guess that's just how the chips fall. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next memory.